between pine stand and iron bar, residual snows, chalk, charcoal, knock nagar, otherwise invisible in the wee hours pitch. A blue hair melted into shadow, momentarily held in the track, mesmerized by melodic fiddle tune, will o' the wisp feathering across late summer how, seeking a cure for fretful insomnia. As the music faded on a soporific breeze, Rowan and Juniper crept out from the night, a new calves hungry moan rolled up from Dernock, and an oyster catcher's piping alarm betrayed, opportunist fox slithering through the darkness. We stood, scenting early ling, bright vanilla wind, watching the mountain come and go. We had an intense, silent conversation. Music and wings, black cock and weasel, Scotland and Ireland, the moment's significance, pure and binding, a joyous gift to be savoured. Turning back to the house, we could not resist a last respect to the mountain. And I asked for Neil Gow's lament for the death of his second wife. Through shut eyes, I saw everything. Your bowing style, determined stance, and powerful, gentle strength. The black void paid its respects with a deep silence. Roosting crossbills, ceasing their reassuring twitter. Loch Nagar disappearing to avoid any unnecessary distraction, anything that would take from the tune. <laughs>